Blessed love family. Give thanks to the life giver and the keeper of life, the power and might of the Holy Trinity. Emperor Haile Selassie I is to be exalted. Give thanks for your presence with us. Salam and peace. Santi Sana is giving great thanks for just life itself and, of course, the fact that we are in the land of the living. At this moment, it is a very humble meditation and frequency passing through the Rastafari community on a whole. And of course, with all level of condolences to the full Farai community, um, as well to the members of the EABIC community and even the, the direct blood relatives and family of one Empress Shara, who would have made a transition about seven days ago or so. Of course, usually we do not announce when someone really would have passed on. Uh, and when I say we, I'm speaking of myself because as time moves on, ones would lay down their structure and lay down their physical, their physical self. Another mighty matriarch in the person of Ma Ashanti would have made her transition about three or so strongs ago. Mighty, mighty, mighty warriors, Ma Ashanti, specifically of the Nyabingi theocracy of Rastafari, uh, an, an individual I've, I was blessed to have met, and real fire mother, and let us be thankful for her as well. As I said, even within this Congress, you know, ones you see ones uh, making that transition not too long ago, we we definitely highlighted Honorable Priest Zebulon, who would have passed. And of course, interesting to our good bread, um, brother, brethren, Honorable Priest Blyden as well who would have made his transition when that came. And uh, yeah, a few others. But what is special here why I was moved by the spirit to say something a bit more deeper about Honorable Empress Cheryl. Number one is because of who she is. And then second of all, it is because of how she would have left the scene. When you speak, you know, I was saying to myself, usually when someone passes on, you hear people saying the nicest things about them. They're always, and they were, they were always a nice person. Especially if they go down a terrible way, gunshot or car accident or whatever, electrocuted, whatever. And he was such a nice man. He never argued with nobody. He was always so kind and she was always so helpful and you never can go to her for anything and she don't give it to you. And, and, and they're always so nice. And you yourself who may not have known these people would say to yourself, how is it that every time somebody go down like that, especially when it makes the news, 
they were always so nice. Is it nice people that, you know, bear the brunt of these tragic events? Well, I must say that in all those cases when these slain were so nice, I cannot say how true that is because I don't know these people. But I know Empress Sharon. And when you're speaking of this Empress here, you're definitely speaking of a woman who, as far as I know, has levicated fully her life towards the work of the Honorable King Emmanuel Charles Edwards. Here is a woman who has left whatever it is that she would have had out there in the world to come and rally around the God of love, as we would put it. I'm not asking you or uh, 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 telling you what someone told me because I've spent time with the Honorable Emperor Sharon, someone I know personally. I would have interviewed her as well on the Food of Seven Network. And she would have given me her story even how she came to be in the order for, although an elder amongst us, she is unique in the sense that amongst all these other elder empresses, she would have been the one who would not have been around King Emmanuel. So with all the other empresses, I wouldn't call their names at this moment. But they all can give you a story, a testimony of the moments they would have spent amongst the Black Christ in flesh. The Honorable Empress Sharon would have met the Honorable King Emmanuel. And this is, again, her speaking to me. She would have met the Honorable King Emmanuel Charles Edwards. And this was on a visit to Bobo Shanti Hill. And she was given the opportunity to speak with Melchizedek. And afterwards, she returned to stay. And as she told me, but at that time, he already left. So she has been there since he left. And of course, an intellect, former principal of a high school, a teacher, obviously, an educator. And everyone knows her persona, eloquent, when the TV camera and the microphone come, uh, see if Embrace Sharon over there, you know, the one who can speak to the nation without tripping up over her words. And you know exactly what she's saying with clarity. Something to type called Embrace Sharon. Some document, some this and that. The office need to open. Call, call Empress Sharon. She's the secretary now. I always see her as the secretary that King Emmanuel never had. So give thanks for such a precious angel amongst us. Those of you who know her know that I know what I'm saying. Give thanks for such a levicated angel amongst us. 
a one who even down to the way she attires herself, you know. Sometimes you observe the Honorable Empress Sharon and you would say to yourself, if it's one thing, this mama here do her utmost to, to move in the way that King Emmanuel teaches as far as garments. Because both brothers and sisters, you know, as the time move on, some of us switch a bit. Eh? I'm not trying to tell nobody how to dress it. I'm just trying to show you. When you see an empress that King Emmanuel dress, eh? when you see an empress that King Emmanuel dress, he ain't no short sleeve. He ain't no top button open and you can see the neck coming down. Now, some of you are going to say, oh, listen, I them dread of thing that you're either talking about that. I didn't come here to debate with nobody. I just telling you something. When you see an empress that King Emmanuel adorn, when you see a brethren, even without his robe, that King Emmanuel adorn, you have to wonder, I mean, if he's going out to dinner and he don't have on his robe. I'm just showing you, King Emmanuel make warriors. King Emmanuel make soldiers. King Emmanuel Charles Edwards make gods and goddesses. Give thanks for this honorable empress who anyone who has been around her would understand how important she is to this order and all that she has contributed to this order here. Now, I'm not gonna stay on this for too long, but before we seal up, I want to go into now exactly how it is that the Empress, or at least her physical would have come to its demise. Now I'm gonna read something here, which some, I don't know, it may be shocking to some, but I will read it. And it says here, this is from the Jamaican Observer. And let me say before I go, because I know there are many spokespeople around here. And let me be clear here. I am not speaking as a representative of any one or organization except myself and the Priest Isaacs Institute of Holistic Knowledge. I know there are ones who would consider that this is something we shouldn't even talk about. Well, I'm not really talking about anything that the international community don't know already. I don't have no speculations. I don't have no strong opinion, but there's something I need to say and for me to say it properly. You're gonna to have to be reminded of exactly what's happening here and those who don't know, I need to fill you in. So according to the Jamaican Observer, the 14th of July, which would be yesterday, it says here, mystery surrounds death of Rastafarian elder in Bobo Hill. This is the newspaper, newspaper. Story, maybe not headline story, but a story in the paper. So obviously this is not a, a regular death. Mystery even surrounds the death. It says here, the community of Bobo Hill in Bull Bay, St. Andrew, was quiet on Monday, except for the voice of a pastor praying during the service at a church and nearby. The Jamaican observer visited 
the community. Monday afternoon, following the mysterious death of 71-year-old Rastafarian elder Sharon Kelly Steer, who was found dead on Friday at her home last Friday afternoon. Remember Friday afternoon, last Friday afternoon. Concern was etched on the faces of the small number of people seen Monday in Bull Bay, St. Andrew, from Weiss Road to Bobo Hill, or Weiss Road to Bobo Hill, following the mysterious death of 71-year-old Sharon Kelly Steer, the Rastafarian elder who was found at her home last Friday. The few who spoke with the Jamaican observer expressed sadness upon learning about Kelly Steer. A former principal of Fern Court High School in St. Anne and encouraged the newspaper to visit Bubble Hill for more information. There was a hint, however, that the community may be experiencing violence, which has caused fear among them. On Monday, the constabulary, constabu, constabulary Cooperate Communications Unit, pardon me, told the observer that Kelly Star, Steer, uh, Kelly Star, Kelly Steer, a resident of Bobo Camp Ground, nine miles, was found dead at her home on Friday, July 8th, around 3.05. This, uh, this is a picture here of the Honorable Empress Sharon. I'm at the market here, they have the caption down here. This says, is in this 2019 photo, Rastafarian elder Sharon Kelly Steer is seen purchasing a coconut from vendor Derek Williams. Says he, according to the CCU, residents stumbled upon her body, lying supine in one of the rooms in her house and alerted the police. The scene was processed and her body removed to the mall. The police says they were not sure if foul play was involved and were waiting the results of an autopsy to make a determination. Okay. Now, to be honest, I cannot say uh, what has happened since then, and I wouldn't read no more of this, but I know I could say with some surety that the body was not found in a regular state. And that is where I would be a bit careful with what I say for what I can't even prove or what has not been confirmed. But I will tell you that I came across this news here on Monday morning. And the post that I got on Monday morning says that the sister was raped and murdered.
Now, when I read that, almost immediately, I remembered a vision I had the Sabbath day. I say almost immediately because the immediate reaction was like, what are you telling me? That was the immediate reaction. But then just after that, I recall that Saturday afternoon, I was taking a little tiger's nap. And while I was on the bed, this is in the vision. I saw Empress Sharon. She was in a blue type of outfit with almost looking like um, a quilt sort of pattern, but the blue stood out more than the other patches. And she was speaking to me, this is Saturday afternoon. And I can't recall what was being said. I can't even remember if I could have, if I could uh, make out what was being said in the vision. Was because you got to remember you. It is when I saw the news, I remember the vision. Now everybody have dreams. I always like to tell people I'm not big on dreams. Anymore. Honestly, I'm not big. Sometimes I can't even remember <laughs> what I vision. To be honest, I can't. And you know, I know some people will be like, "What? A high man like you and all of that kind of stuff?" You know, I mean, well, I mean, that's your opinion, really. But what I'm saying is that it doesn't even move me. You know. And the reason why, let me just just tell you this quick, quick, quick story so you understand why I, I said Because as I said, I hardly remember my vision, my dream. Sometimes you see something like a deja vu moment and then you say, hey, I see this already. To the point that you can plot what's going to happen next. So in the Bible, remember Aaron and Miriam had a uh, an accusation against Moses because he married the Ethiopian woman. And when they came to Moses, the Bible says Moses were like, was like the meekest man on the planet. And then according to how the scripture described it, a, a terrible God came down between Moses and his siblings, Aaron and Miriam. God, God was vexed with them for troubling Moses. Not because they were Moses' bigger brother and sister. He still ain't playing around. You know who Moses is? That's what he told them. You know who Moses is. Now, remember, they were high-ranking people. Eh? You know what he told them? He said, if there is a prophet amongst you, I would have spoken to him in a dream. The first time I read that, you know, I thought he was speaking about Moses. But that's a big thing if God talking you in a dream. That's a big thing. No, he was talking to, to Aaron and Miriam. If there is a prophet amongst you, I would have spoken to him in a dream. But it's not so with my servant Moses, whom I speak to face to face. Honestly, from my heart, as I said, I'm not that big on the vision thing for whatever reason. Sometimes I can't even remember it. But trust me, I am positive that the most I speak to me face to face when I awake. Believe me, anything you hear me come and say, anything you see us decode, anything you see us unravel. I didn't go to sleep and wake up and say, huh, bring the pen and the pad. No, I was behind a chalice. I was just flexing and moving through the earth. I was on a plane or driving down the road or something. And I said, but hey, uh-huh. And I put it together. So, so if there's a prophet, he would have spoken to them in a dream. But I'm saying all of that to say, I had a vision of the Honorable Empress Sharan Saturday afternoon. And I didn't remember that until I saw the message about what apparently happened to her the Monday morning.
Now, I began the program eh, here, showing you exactly the angelic nature of this Omega here, this Empress here amongst us. This is nothing to deny. This is nothing for no one to debate. If you're gonna look for the pure ones amongst us, she gotta come up. Because all of us are not as pure as we pretend. She must come up. So I hear a lot of people now huffing and puffing. I am not a reactor. I, I despise reacting to things, especially when we could have done something about it prior. We don't believe in reacting and oh boy, and, and vex and bonfire. You see, the man, the man, and this and that. I hate to hear them talking it. I don't care how upset you are. All of us are responsible for this. How on earth this can happen to her? Tell me. Those who were not there, not try to put all the blame on those who were there. That's what I'm saying. We are all responsible, especially those of us of the brethren, of the brotherhood that's supposed to protect our woman. If it's one thing with me, eh? I ain't bringing my business to the world, but you can ask any woman that has ever been around me. I do not play. When it comes to my woman, I don't play. I do not play. Even daughters that don't burn yet, I would break anybody's neck. For wife, mother, sister, daughter. Yeah. People that I have to feed and so, man, I don't play around. I do not. When it comes to that, believe me, take it from me. I, I, I don't have no time. To, I don't have no reason. Maybe I shouldn't even continue to say what I'm saying. And I don't understand. We as brothers, number one, we're supposed to have that mentality. I'm not saying that's the cause. The lack of that is the cause of this. I'm saying we are seriously unorganized. I don't care how bad the area is, Rasta. Oh, my. Let me tell you where I'm coming from here. Give thanks. A few Sundays ago, in fact, I think it was the last um, study group hosted by the Honorable Prophet Daniel. I was on that study group at the latter part of the program. And I announced something that I've never announced even on my own YouTube channel. And I announced it there because my spirit told me that I was in the midst of ones who, who you know, could give ear to the idea I have and not just ear, but would, you know, go forward with it. It was the study group, ones that are interested in us moving forward. Because we, we talk a lot, eh? Let me, be, let me say this here, we talk plenty. Many great ideas come on the table. Remember it's 20 something years, 21 years I just celebrated of being crowned. I would say 21 years since I deep in the Bobo Shanti thing clearly. From the time I hit Bull Bay, I never, you know, absent from what going on. Boba Shanti before that, a couple of years, but it, the link wasn't there. So I see enough talking, enough this, enough conference, enough, a lot of ideas we've put on the table. 
and other ones, a lot of programs and, with arguments, over talking, beating dead horses, court cases. What happened to the humble be fed, the naked clothed, the sick nourished, the age protected, and the infants cared for. This is our creed. The age protected. The age protected. The sister was 71, a 71 year old angel. Living like she, living in a holy convent. The age protected, a vessel of God when you need to see a woman shining. The age protected. Your boy, them I mean the house of sleep. I ain't talking about no man dead. This is a Congress. This is a government. This is a worldwide government. I'm not talking about just the situation. I talking about the principle of it. I'm not pretending I'm more serious than anybody by telling you straight, if we were serious, that could never happen. I gonna repeat, if we were more serious, that could never, ever, ever happen. What I lying? What, it was just bound to happen? Nothing could have stopped that if we were serious. I propose to the study group that Sunday. And it was just an idea that I haven't furnished yet. And that's why I never really spoke of it because I never furnished the idea properly. But I know what I wanted to do. And I wanted to start a, a, a sponsor, adopt, adopt an elder program, specifically in Bobo Shanti. Adopt an elder. I was definitely inspired by Bongo Flacco and his work. Adopt an elder. And what it would be is that you, you basically that you know in the same way how the wicked world shows you these starving children in africa if you donate only 70 cents a day we'll send you a picture and a postcard and all of them foolishness okay we don't know that's highway robbery but in all honesty the idea of it as marcus garvey teaches us watch what the wicked do and what you find right implement it so again, I haven't fully furnished it, but what it was is that we have elders within our Congress, those on the foundation and those not on the foundation. We know who they are. We know who they are. So I was suggesting, you know, we, we, we you know, make a list of that, make sure we know who we have. There's some elders that are more vulnerable than others. I mean, our Congress need a strength. That's no pretend. From King Emmanuel uh, move in 94, it has just been slowed down words. That ain't no diss, that's just the reality. When you talk, so coming back to my point, when you talk to some people, feel, oh, you're dissing me, dissing. I can remember the first, I can remember clearly the first time I hear Bridget tell her next month. If I was there, I wouldn't go to Bobby Hill right now. And the place dangerous. I remember the first time. Them time I don't go to Bobby Hill a couple of times. And yeah, even them times, I mean, you have to be on your P's and Q's. But it's it definitely not like how it is now, for sure. I know ones will all say, boy, even Jata and Batman just walked through. We all know that. But it was still different. I remember clearly the first time I hear a man say that. But of course, some of us don't want to say that to boy. No worry with that man and this and that and, and, and okay. So what you have to say now? What you have to say now? What you have to say now? That empresses that leave their, their Caribbean island and go up there by themselves with their little baby. Just to, to keep a 21 day purification in the glory. So what we would do, you know, a one would choose what, you know, either a person would choose the elder they would want to adopt 
And so like one elder could have all five people adopt that same one elder. And, you know, it's like something like $50 a month per person, you know, or it could be even less. So it doesn't become a strain on us. But with the thousands of us, with the thousands of us, you know, that say that we follow King Emmanuel order of all kinds of nations, especially those who are not of the black nation. And I'm not saying this, believe me, with no prejudice or anything. It's all love. But especially you, you got to step up. No, I'm very serious. You definitely got to step up. You, I ain't seen no John Brown amongst those who are Bobo Shanti that is of other nations. Eh? I'm not dissing you. I ain't vexed with you. But when you come into a black redemption, man, you got to step up. You have to show something different to me, to me. I'm not speaking, as I said at the beginning, I'm not speaking for nobody else but myself and the Institute. You know who John Brown is? That was a, a Caucasian that they considered an abolitionist. He killed white people for black people. He killed them. He take his own sons and say, come, we're going to kill some crackers and, and set the Negroes free. He go and get guns and give it to the Negroes and stand up on the battlefield and be firing shot, killing his own brothers, killing them. I tell you, they will kill nobody. But, but. We have to see it. We can. We, you can pick up a John Brown there, just like you can pick up a Shaka. You can pick up a give me somebody. Else, Enzinga. A, a Enzinga. You can pick up a Mansa Musa. Hey, hey, hey. You can pick them up. Exactly, Enzinga. Give thanks, Honorable Princess, Empress Sharon. You can pick up the warriors. So so. So to me, when you come from a next nation to say you are, you come to the Black God to rally, you have to show that homage. Hey, yo, I ain't playing around. That's how I look at it. Yeah, is coming rocking and hey, am I, is my Lord. So you got to step up to the plate. Those who are what they call white people at our bubble shandy, you have to put your money up, Rasta. You need to put your money up when it comes to this Congress. I ain't playing around. I ain't playing around. The black two, of course. You know. I know some of you saying we're not supposed to depend on them. Is we I ain't depending on nobody. I'm not depending on no one. It's our 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 salvation. You know. But if you come to be a part of this and you are well accepted. That's how it is from like, well accepted. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. You're supposed to lay down on the train track for us. If you say no, well, to me, you're not ready for this. That's my opinion. That's how I look at it. So the descendants of the slave and the descendants of the slave master meet together at a table. And the two of them saying Rastafari, the descendant of the slave master don't think that he's supposed to bring something different to the table. So I'm saying, can they say no joke? This is what I'm saying. We have this thing as a Facebook joke and giggle and grin and take picture and be arguing and, and acting this and uh. The Honorable Empress passed, everybody have some little thing to say. Yeah. We say too much when people are dead. So I actually said, man, those of us, there's thousands of us internationally that benefit off of the robe and the turban and the Sabbath order of the Black Christ. You mean to say you can't put $10 a month, $20 a month as a part of a adopt an elder program. And even if you don't choose the elder, the small committee, because we don't want a whole heap of troublemakers, the small committee, even from the same study group, the small committee of trusted ones would be able to, to, to you know, decide like how we divide in this to all the elders so all the elders get their share as it continues to grow. The elders need help. Yeah, one man can send a, a thing to a one person and a thing to a one person, which some of us do. 
But we need this is a one man thing and they send so you can tell somebody, yeah, man, I don't say nothing. No, no, no. It's a structured thing. Structure. You see, this is what we need. Leadership. Leadership. You know how long we talk about the dollar a day? I don't mean just on YouTube. These are things we put on paper and so you know, man. Go to conference with this and a dollar a day, a dollar, one dollar. By now, you know what I mean? We could talk about how much money in the coffers and the works to be fulfilled. Security is very important. So this is why I'm saying, family, I ain't here to beat down nobody, I, especially people asking, you boy, whoever do that, fire them. That is true. I leave the committee that deal with that to deal with that. I, 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 it's not even who the scum is that did that. Who or what that did that? Because even if it's a who, that's a what that did that. But those of us now who chant the age protected. When you find someone dead a couple of days after it happened, the age protected. The naked clothes, the sick nourish. Are we doing all of this? The infants cared for. Are we doing all of this? So it, I mean, the solution is there, you know. Structure, organization, governance, leadership. We have leadership. But a lot of us, we don't like leadership. We have leadership. A lot of us, we don't like leadership. Some of us who think we're here so long, we refuse to listen to some young leadership. It is sad. And them empresses depending on us. In America. Them empresses depending on us, brethren. We're wasting time. Big man, we a big man. You know, we say wrong here in Antigua, big hard toad man. Pardon me, but I just had to put it out. And our kingdom crumbling around us. No defense for our empresses. A shame. As I say, we are responsible and never point a finger. Anybody that vex with me, well, maybe you were the one responsible. I never point a finger at no one. I just say that we all are responsible, especially the brotherhood. Oh, man, man, come on. Come on, that, this, could, this could have been worse. It could have been someone else. You even have empresses. I don't even want to go into that. I wouldn't say all of that here. I wouldn't say all of that here. But it can happen tonight. It could happen tomorrow night. Has, what has changed? So I go repeat in closing. Eh? There's no one walking away and thinking that I'm pointing the finger anywhere because I would be off to do that. Because I've seen some finger pointing. Obviously, especially those who live on the hill and those who would have been there at the time, those who should have been there, pointing finger at them. Yeah, let's just be clear. It's not a, a, it's not a, a camp that's populated like before. So the few that are there, the same few that keep up the Psalms reading and so, I notice, you know, you read a few posts, they get in the brunt of the blame even from people that should be there. This is where I'm saying it. This is bigger than just that. I don't want to stay too long on this situation. I'm talking about the principle. Because when you have a, 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 holy, a holy empress like this now, if she can go down like that, if she can go down like that, well, what is to say of anyone else? So are we still vulnerable that it can happen tonight and tomorrow? So what are we going to do about this now as a kingdom, as a government in a state of emergency? 
what plans we're going to put into order. Well, those of you eh, who were listening to the investment lecture that we did, you would have heard me explain what my goal or my main goal is on this planet here. And if you have a goal like that, which is rising the empire of the order of the Black Christ, if you have that goal, see what he set up, that start to crumble, we're going to big that up bigger than that. We don't have no time to play and be joking and arguing and with, amongst each other ways of time. I remember a time I go Bobo Hill and I never forget Empress Maisie. You know, she have a she as well with her sweet voice. How precise I you know she tell me. I wonder if she can remember what she said. She said, precise is the item we waiting on, you know, to bring this redemption. You know? But one go home. That's what she tell me. Me, she tell you so. And, and it don't mean like it's mean she waiting on it. But I know she mean. I and I, you know, the empresses, she talking on behalf of the woman there. A lot of us, we don't take time to observe the feminine nature, even within us. You know? So we kind of disconnected sometimes from the energy of the feminine. Are we just arguing how much testosterone battling back and forth? Organize and structure this thing. Baba Shanti, let me be clear here. You got leaders amongst you. Eh? i telling you, they make them get weary and tired because we just playing around. That is why I could put it on the table at the study group. That Monday, Priest Doggy, Prophet Benton, Empress Maisie, Prophet Daniel, who definitely show himself, you know what I mean, as, as battle axe and warriors and, 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 you know, ready for this, not just sitting back and waiting. There's some waiters, you know, like this. Hey, man, when the item get it straight, you know, my on board. And then they have some ones that, go out of their way to get it straight. Not a no selfish thing like they trying to gain for themselves, but thinking of the whole. How many of us think like that? Well, those who think like that, who are trying their best to advance this thing without any sideway agenda and any ulterior motives, and they come with good ideas and good plans, we should all come on board with them good ideas and good plans. That's why when people bring good ideas to me, I always on board it. Once you have an idea, hey, listen, I'm doing this, I'm having this, I'm doing that, I would like it to be a part of it. I can come in, I think I'm going to say, oh, boy, boy that's, I, I, that's not my idea. I come in here. Because something has to work. But when you have great ideas that you alone can't do it, some of us, we just, I don't put in my hand in me, God. He could get all the glory. Them things keep us back so long. Not just as Bobo Shanti, you know, even as Rastafari, them things have been keeping us back. I'm not asking you, I'm telling you what I see. When I live, man, for almost 30 years in Rastafari in general, eh? a lot of keep down and, and selfishness and, and pride and, and bad mindedness. I've seen, nobody can tell me nothing. I know exactly what I'm saying. Yet still our elders and our youth, the most vulnerable, suffer. Hmm? You can judge a nation by how they treat the most vulnerable, the elders and the youths. The elders and the youths. Yeah, we give dance for 
Dans le Sabbath day, Black Christ reigning supreme. Give thanks for the Honorable Emperor Sharon, such soul that definitely rising in enough power. Holy man, you will I Celestia Rastafari. Blessed love.